Taurus. Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Taurus placement. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Taurus. And for a week ahead, so it's a prediction, so you don't know yet. Yeah. Okay, the first message that we have is sleepless nights. Wow. Okay, so there's a masculine who feels as if their souls literally won't let them rest at this time. There's something that your person needs to say to you. And I'm getting that there could be something, some type of energy or some type of barrier that is standing between you and your person in your connection right now. And it's almost, there's like a forceful energy with this. It's almost as if your person is being forced to kind of address this. Um, they've tried to ignore this in the past, but it's like their soul is not letting them rest until you know whatever this is. But this is a very vulnerable energy coming through with this message. They are currently in a constant state of worry about how you feel. This could be about how they showed up. Okay, I'm getting something about the expression. So this could be tied to the communication somehow. I'm getting there was a lot of repressed emotions, a lot of mixed signals being sent by this person. And Divine Feminine, you can feel this. You can pick up on this. I'm even getting for some of you, you just straight up ask them about this, but you didn't get a clear and concise answer from them. Or if they spoke to you or they gave you an explanation, it's almost as if their mouth said one thing, but their energy said another thing, right? Um, but yeah, something about their energy is very restrictive. It's like they kind of won't budge, okay? Or they won't be direct about whatever this is. And this could be very well why they're having sleepless nights. They feel very, very restless. They're very much consumed with your energy at this time. I definitely feel they're having a battle between their heart and their mind. Because honestly, if, if they could have it their way, they would continue to ignore this. But but I'm not getting it, it's for the reason that you think. They feel some kind of way about opening up or being expressive. But this may not have been something that they thought that they would ever have to tell you. Or this could be something that they purposely tried to hide from you. There's like a really restrictive kind of energy here. They may have felt like they were doing a good job of hiding this aspect of themselves or this information. Whatever this is, Divine Feminine, you could probably intuitively pick up on the fact that your person wasn't being forthcoming with you or there was just something to them, something about their energy where you feel like you needed a little bit more information. But it's coming through differently now. I feel like this could be something that if you ask them up front, you feel deep down that this is some type of information that they should have volunteered, okay? This is not something that you should have had to ask them at all, okay? But this is definitely directly tied to your connection. So if you're wondering how your person is feeling right now, your person is consumed with thoughts of you, but mainly consumed about something that they need to share with you. This is a truth, but this is a personal truth that relates directly to themselves, to their own personal journey, but this is definitely spilled over into your journey, okay? Into your connection somehow. And this is directly affecting how your person shows up, how they communicate with you. Something about the energy may seem a little bit off, okay? Your person may seem a little bit repressed, as if they're practicing constraint, as if they're not being as open, as expressive. Something about their energy is very, very restrictive, okay? Um, you can also feel as if you're kind of probing a little bit. Maybe you're asking questions. But there's this really deep kind of like resentment that the Divine Feminine may be feeling because deep down I'm getting you feel like this is something that you shouldn't have to ask them. This is something that they should you know, be openly willing to express with you here. And whether you know it or not, because I'm getting that this is a masculine who may be very stoic, okay? They may appear on the outside as if everything is fine, but this really affects them mainly at night. So they may be someone who has a really busy schedule. Maybe they move around a lot. 
their mind is occupied the majority of the time, but when they get home and when they get by themselves and they kind of align, they can't rest, okay? Their soul is kind of guiding them to address this. So if you are wondering how they're feeling at this current time while they are away from you, your person is definitely consumed with thoughts of you, but more specifically consumed with having to express something to you that they feel is a personal truth, okay? Yeah, let's, let's get the next message here. I feel like what, whatever this is, is very, very important to the both of you. Divine Feminine, you may pick up on this energy as well, depending on how energetically bonded you are with your person. Maybe you can't sleep. Maybe you're tossing and turning here. Okay, because this is something that I feel like is affecting the both of you, but this is mainly your person's energy that is directly affecting the current status of your connection, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is, I owe you an apology. Wow, okay. So yes, this is what your person has to say to you, okay? Um, wow, I just got they had no idea. So I'm getting that your person had no idea what they were in for when they met you, Divine Feminine. And I feel like this apology, it's, it's almost like they want to tell you that they had no idea who you were. This is someone who didn't know how to properly handle your energy. So they very well may have mishandled you in this connection. This is definitely coming from someone who mishandled your energy. They didn't know how to deal with someone like you. So they may have reacted in a way that was very, very confusing. You may have even asked yourself what the problem was. Because I'm getting that there was, there was kind of no lead up to this. Their actions left you totally confused. And now where they stand, they are very much aware of that. So this is coming from a divine feminine, a divine masculine, sorry, who feels like they need to clear their conscience. Something is weighing heavy on their heart space. Because the energy now is, is coming through very apologetic. It's, it's like they know deep down that you didn't deserve whatever it was that they did to you, whatever it was that they said to you. And I feel like in the moment, they weren't really thinking about how this would have directly affected you. But for some reason, as of lately, it's like their souls literally will not let them rest until they make this right with you. I feel like this message could be for a divine feminine out there who's at a distance from your person and you feel like you generally, like you genuinely do not know why. It doesn't make sense to you at all. You feel like things were going good. You feel like there was a match of energy here and all of a sudden your person just showed you something that was totally unfamiliar. But even more importantly, it's the way in which they handled you in that situation. Maybe there was no explanation. Maybe you reached out to them trying to get some type of clarity. They didn't respond. There is something here about how they handled you in this process. Because I'm definitely getting that you're someone who values truth. You're someone who values authenticity. So had your person came around and told you, hey, I'm going through this. I may need a little space. Or if they would have communicated that to you, that's different. But I'm getting that your person didn't give you the choice to choose, you know, how you wanted to navigate the connection or how you wanted to navigate moving forward. They made the choice for you by taking an action and without you knowing what that action was. So this very well could have been them running. This could have been them ghosting. This could have been something that naturally phased out. But I feel like you didn't get all the information here. It, it was sticking out for me. You didn't get a proper explanation from them. But where they are right now, they feel as if they need to explain this to you and their soul will not let them rest until they make this right. So if you are wondering how they're feeling about you, this is affecting them in more ways than one. Okay, number one, it's affecting their sleep. 
they are they have the ability to keep themselves busy during the day but i'm getting when they get home this is really affecting them they're like tossing and turning they're thinking about you i'm even getting specifically they went from dreaming of you to now they can't sleep because of you wow so yeah um i'm also getting divine feminine that this is something that hurt you i feel like this is something that maybe you try to let this go you try to just you know write it off as something that's not being a big deal but this is something that has affected you and i feel like maybe recently you've acknowledged this and because you verbalized it or you know you're just healing your person can actually pick up on your energetic field okay you clearing this space and maybe they're going through a moment where they're ready to clear this energy as well okay i'm also getting that Wow, this just came to me clearly. This is a masculine who sought you out, Divine Feminine. This is someone who, upon coming in contact with you, they wanted you, okay? They picked you. This, this may be very well why this energy is coming through so confusing to you or why your person is so apologetic because they pursued you. I'm also getting that there was heavy physical attraction like your external your person was heavily attracted to you before they really got to know you before they really got to peel back the layers with you your person really really liked what they saw okay they were actually drawn towards you and i'm getting that this energy this chemistry never really died down how they viewed you in the beginning is still how they view you at this time right now there's something very very rare about you or your energy that kind of pulled them in i'm also getting that they may have either you know did things or said things just to be in your energy because of how magnetic you actually were and see that's that's the thing about the divine feminine energy it's like a lot of people just want to experience you so i don't know if this is a connection that took off extremely fast it was extremely passionate Maybe this is someone you were intimate with. I'm getting heavy attraction, heavy chemistry, heavy passion, okay? Um, but something has this masculine feeling unsettled. And this is directly tied to how they handled you. But I'm getting clearly that this is someone who sought you out. This is someone who pursued you. The minute that they saw you, they wanted you, okay? Um, and this is... This is clearly from your external. They were very attracted to you, but there was something very, very magnetic about your energy where they literally felt as if they were being pulled towards you. And I'm getting that you you really didn't have to do much, okay? You have this type of energy where you don't have to do or say much. You know, people just are naturally drawn to you in that way. This masculine felt that same way, okay? But I'm also getting, I just got spiritual there's something highly highly spiritual about you i'm getting that very very clearly but people may not know this when they come in contact with you because you know how to blend in but i'm getting that you live by a very different set of rules divine feminine so this masculine may have mishandled you okay they may have offended you with their behavior maybe with their speech but there was some type of disconnect as it pertains to their actions, their behavior, the way the way that they engage you in some kind of way. But what's sticking out the most here is that this masculine is kind of upset with themselves, also a little embarrassed at how they presented themselves with you. And so much so that they've been thinking about this a lot. They're replaying a lot of your interactions over in their minds here, just kind of like kicking themselves, feeling a little embarrassed about this wanting the chance to apologize to you. So you may be hearing from this masculine, maybe they have reached out to you, but they're at this place right now where they really feel like they need to explain themselves and their actions, okay? They definitely feel like you deserve much more than what it is that they presented, presented you with, okay? So I'm, I'm also getting that the way in which this no contact came about really had you feeling like your person didn't care there's like a lot of energy coming through with this so i feel like your person may have a lot to express to you this could have been a this could have been long overdue i feel like maybe you didn't speak to them in a while there's a lot of like impulsive 
kind of energy where the messages are coming really, really fast. So I feel like your person may have a lot that they need to say to you that they've been that they've been holding back or repressing. Okay, but I'm also getting as well that. You may be thinking because your person pulled back their energy or the way in which they pull back their energy or this no contact was initiated that they don't care. But I'm getting that they care way more than, than they would like to admit, okay? Or than you know at this time, okay? They really, really wish that you knew how it was that they felt deep down. Let's get the next message here. Wow. So there it is. We have, you don't know the real me. Wow. Okay. So, um, I'm getting that deep down. You knew that there was something a little off about your person. Okay. Um, something about their energy was just telling you was giving you a totally different type of vibe. There are two totally different sides to your person, okay? Like if you were to take a peek into their lives right now, you would feel like they are acting in a totally different way from the person that you met. And your person at this time completely feels as if they are living a double life. And something is sticking out to me here is I keep getting spiritual, okay? So like I was saying before, Divine Feminine, you are a very, very spiritual being, a highly spiritual being. So I definitely feel like the way that your person engaged you in the beginning, the way that your person approached you may be very, very different from how they really are in their everyday lives, okay? I feel like this is something that they hid from you, but I don't think that they hid this to be malicious at all. I'm getting that when your person came in contact with you, okay, they never anticipated to feel the way that they felt about you. They thought that they were going to navigate this connection the same way that they did with other feminine energy. But I'm getting that you live your life by a certain set of rules. You play by a different set of rules, Divine Feminine. You are very, very connected spiritually, okay? I'm tapping into very, very spiritual Divine Feminine energy, okay? Someone who may be very um, just into your spiritual routines, okay? You're very connected to the spiritual realm here. And because of that, you live your life in a very particular way. But the attraction that this masculine had to you, when they came in contact with your energy, Divine Feminine, it's almost as if they, they presented themselves in a certain way that you would find attractive, that you would deem to be worthy to be with you. And this is not in the terms of, you know, them not being worth your time or anything like that. This is just that the way that your person was living their lives prior to coming in contact with you, you probably wouldn't even look their way. But I'm getting that the physical attraction was so vast, like it was so powerful that you both were naturally drawn to one another. But as they got to know you, as they got to peel back the layers and really, really get to know you, they were like, wow, okay, this divine feminine is serious. Okay, you're someone who is very serious about your spirituality. You live your life. I just keep getting that. You live your life a certain way. You play by a certain set of rules. But people would not know this when they come in contact with you. I'm getting you're very beautiful. Like your exterior, you're very, very beautiful. But you're not someone who operates from surface things. So even though you may find people attractive, even though even though people may find you very, very attractive, I'm getting that, I'm getting beautiful. I just keep getting radiant and beautiful, okay? So you may naturally draw attention from lots of different energy. I'm getting masculine and feminine energy, okay? A lot of people think that you're beautiful, is what I mean. But when people get to, if they get close enough to you, because I'm getting that you're very protective of your energy as well, when people get close to you and they begin to, to peel back the layers, 
They understand that you're not a superficial person. You're someone who operates from your heart space. And your person feels like you don't know the real them because they may feel as if they presented themselves in a way they kind of tried to match your energy. I'm, I'm just going to say it how it is. Once they really got past the exterior, once you begin to speak to them, I'm getting heavy communication, very fast, very like exciting communication back and forth. Once you got to really know one another, it's like they try to match your energy. So they really feel as if you don't know the real them. They, I'm getting double life. They may be still attached to lower energies in some kind of way. They could be attached to some type of external energy that they feel like you wouldn't, you know, be okay with. Or maybe if you were privy to this information before coming in contact with them, you wouldn't deal with them here. But I definitely feel this energy of you like changing this person or you giving them insight into a totally different world. And it's like once they got a taste of that, you know, they, they kind of couldn't handle it a bit. I'm definitely getting that. It's like they wanted to, they wanted to appeal to you. They wanted to um, be on your level in a sense and, and kind of live in this life that you were living, maybe ascend to this timeline. But it's kind of it's kind of like they were stuck in between two places because I'm definitely I keep getting double life. So their soul won't let them rest right now. They're having sleepless nights because they're realizing that they were not truthful in how they presented themselves with you. But they're extremely apologetic about this because they feel like had they just been truthful. They, they should have very well given you the choice of how you wanted to proceed in this connection. And I feel like you feel that way too. Because their energy would be, it's almost as if everything would be vibing. And then they would probably tap into a lower energy. Maybe they would say something that you would question a little bit. You know, their energy was, I'm getting very up and down kind of energy with this person. But where they are right now, this is very vulnerable. I feel like this, this energy is coming through a little bit uncomfortable for them. Maybe this is something that they would have kept to themselves. Maybe they didn't want to express this to you. Um, they may be even a little embarrassed as well, okay? Just because, I'm, I just keep getting like someone of your caliber. You know, maybe you deal with a certain type of masculine energy here. It's like they wanted to appeal to that, but it's like once they realized that they were really dealing with a divine feminine, they're asking themselves like, how do I maintain this? How do I navigate this energy? This is something that I want, but how do I get it? How do I keep it? I'm getting clearly, wow, how do I keep it? So yeah, something definitely is standing between you and your person at this time. And they are aware of this. They're aware of the fact that when they came in contact with you, they definitely were operating in two different places. Maybe trying to ascend, maybe they're healing and trying to ascend to a different level and you came into their lives as, a, as the physical manifestation of that. But the challenge that I'm getting with sticking out here is maintaining it, is keeping you, is being on this vibration and being steady on this vibration in order to maintain this connection okay let's get the next message here wow the next message we have is please don't judge me yeah this this is a very type of vulnerable energy that i'm tapping into right now um they really feel some kind of way about this I'm getting embarrassed as well. Your person may feel as if, you know, if you had known this about them, maybe you would have judged them. I don't, I really don't feel like this is you judging them. I feel like they're judging themselves and they're kind of projecting this energy onto you and onto the connection. Maybe there was something that happened in the recent past where, you know, there could have been a disagreement there was something here that stand, that's standing as a barrier between you and your person. 
but they're coming through, you know, not wanting to feel judged about maybe where they are on their journeys here. Because I'm getting that this divine feminine energy that I'm tapping into is like, you are on your path, okay? Even outside of this connection, you're someone who is very, very serious about the type of energies that you engage with. It's like you're on your purpose. You know what it is that you're here to do. And anyone that is in your life or is directly connected to you has to be on a certain vibration. It's like you're not budging on that. And so whatever happened with this masculine right now, it's like they, they don't want to feel judged by this, but they're also aware that they played a major part in this and they're judging themselves. So I feel like this is a little bit of a projection with them saying, don't judge me because divine feminine, I feel like you didn't even get the chance to choose, you know, what it is that you wanted to do because they were not forthcoming with you about this in the beginning. They didn't give you a choice, you know, to decide if you wanted to deal with them, if you were wanting, you know, to work with them, whatever, you know, different people deal with different things on different levels. So they don't know your background. You may have been through certain things where they may feel like something is massive and you may feel like it's something small, but they didn't give you that choice. Okay. So yeah, this, this is a very vulnerable moment for them here. Um, they don't want to be judged for where they are personally on their journeys. But I don't feel like, you know, this is something, I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like you just want the truth to buy them in. Let's get the next message here. Wow, the next message we have is you are rare. Yeah. This is exactly how they are viewing you. This may be a little dramatic, but I just got you changed my life, okay? So this is how your person is viewing you. If this is resonating so far, you came in contact with your person, okay? For some reason, this connection begins to phase out over time. And this is because when your person met you, they were extremely attracted to you. Even if you were in a group or you were somewhere amongst other feminine energies, you stuck out to them. They were drawn to you. There was something about you where they wanted to know who you were. Specifically, they were not worried about any other energies. They were worried about you. They sought you out. They picked you out. They wanted you. Okay? And this was mainly off of, I'm getting physical attraction. They were so physically attracted to you and your energy. But once they actually got to know you, maybe they felt like they were going to navigate this connection in the same manner. I'm feeling like this could be a masculine energy who was used to a certain type of feminine energy. But you're the divine feminine and you play by a very different set of rules. So when they got to know you, when they started to engage you and speak to you and talk to you and really hear what's on your mind and what's on your heart, it's like they were like, oh shit, you know, I got to step my game up a little bit. And so I kind of feel like they may have tried to appeal to you in a certain kind of way, but they really were not ready. There really were parts of them that were still unhealed, parts of them that were kind of unevolved but I feel like they kind of stuffed these parts down and you met the higher version of them and your person really feels like your energy is completely rare so rare that they don't think that they're going to be able to find this kind of connection anywhere else that's why they approached you in this way but I'm also getting that because you live your life a certain kind of way, Divine Feminine, that's the very reason why this could have phased out. A lot of times, you know, masculine energy can present in a certain way as if they don't care or as if they're super aloof. They definitely care. Maybe they don't have the words to verbalize what it is. And this is something that, you know, because I keep getting like embarrassment or shame. Like imagine running into a person or finding a person that you feel is extremely rare, 
but you also feel like they're a little bit out of your league. That's the energy that I'm getting here. So this divine feminine, this divine masculine was like, well, I'm going to do whatever it is I have to do to appeal to this divine feminine. But in this act, they were being dishonest. And they didn't give you the chance to choose if this was something that you wanted to deal with, if this is something you will be okay with. They were just concerned with not losing you in that moment, not losing that access to you. So if you're at a distance from your person, if you haven't spoken to them, if the communication has phased out, because I'm getting that things were like off the charts chemistry here. But as the heat started to come on, as this masculine realized that they would have to actually perform, you know, on a certain vibration, this kind of intimidated them a bit. So instead of them verbalizing this to you, they very well may have pulled their energy back. But where they are right now, it's like their soul won't let them rest. Their soul is literally guiding them in your direction to make this right. So this could be very well like a healing moment, okay? Because I feel like, I feel a very solid bond here. I feel like this is something that, you know, you both have been feeling for a very long time. I feel like this is something that kind of bothered the both of you. Maybe you haven't spoken on this. Maybe this is something you try to write off as if, you know, it wasn't that important here. But this is something that definitely has emotionally affected the both of you. So I don't know if you're picking up on this energy as well, Divine Feminine. You may just very well be picking up on your masculine's energy, depending on how connected you are energetically. But yeah, they're having very, very sleep, like sleepless nights at this time. Very restless energy. Because they need to apologize to you about not being forthcoming about who they really were. They saw you and immediately jumped into their higher self. Like, okay, this is what Divine Feminine is on. Okay, I'm on this too. But somewhere along your journey, that energy, like I always say, whatever is inside of you, it has to come out. They started to show, you know, maybe unevolved um, energy or something began to come up and this slowly became a barrier to where your connection may very well have phased out. So your person is definitely in deep thought about you and this connection right now. And so much so that they can't even sleep, okay? Like they're literally staying up trying to figure out how they can make this right. But it's like they wanna express this to you, but they, they, they don't wanna be judged. This is something that they may very well be embarrassed about. Um, just because there's like this need to really impress you, they really see you as a rare energy that they may never, ever come back in contact with. They may see many different feminine energies. They may engage different feminine energies in their day-to-day -day lives, but there's something about you that they feel, if I don't get this right, I may never replace this divine feminine. I can't like... This divine feminine is irreplaceable. This is the energy that I'm getting here. So they very well may contact you. They may have already contacted you to speak, but you may notice their energy is just a little, you know, very emotional, um, very cautious about what it is they have to say, or they may be very impulsive. There's a lot of nervousness around the communication right now, just because they don't want to be judged, okay? So let's get the last message here. Oh, the last message is, I never saw you coming. Yeah, they they weren't prepared for you, Divine Feminine. That's, that's literally the energy that I'm getting. Um, they very well could have been operating on a lower timeline and then boom, you showed up. And so they tried to kind of prepare themselves. They tried to kind of assume this position of being this high vibrational type of person okay and i definitely feel like somewhere along the journey that lower self started to slip out and you started to see different versions of them and different parts of them they had you questioning the person that you met this awesome person that you met that you were vibing with i'm getting physical attraction off the charts okay just from day one a lot of passionate um conversation your person wants you to know they, they never saw you coming. They weren't prepared for this. 
okay? And so where they are right now, their soul is guiding them to make this right, to be honest with you, to tell you the truth about why they haven't been communicating with you here. This is someone who has deep, deep romantic feelings for you. Like, I don't even think that you understand how much this person feels for you. And this is literally affecting almost every area of their lives. So they're being guided to address this. And until they address this, it's almost like their soul is going to keep nudging them to get this right. So you definitely may be hearing from this masculine. This, this communication may be very impulsive. Okay, you may very well, it's because I'm picking up on a divine feminine that's very, very spiritually inclined. You may intuitively feel your person coming closer to you. Um, you may be able to also pick up on their energy as they call you or as they get in contact with you. You will feel this nervousness. So, you know, just keep in mind that whatever they tell you, you know, they want you to be open and ready to receive. They're really, you know, a little antsy about you about them being judged or about you judging them okay so yeah these are the messages that i have for you all tonight if you resonated with this message please be sure to hit the like button on the way out and i will see you all in the next video bye bye bye